I got a standing ovation. And up until that day, I never hypnotized a person in my life. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. I had some uh, cojones on me there. And I, you know, I don't know if I would do that today, but as a young guy who really wanted something, uh, I went for it. And within four years, I was doing over a hundred shows a year. The hardest part of a stage hypnosis show has nothing to do with hypnosis. Hypnosis mm -hmm. is just the vehicle that you're using to entertain an audience. Uh, the three most important elements, I call them the pillars of Stage Hypnosis University, is number one, rapport. Having rapport with your audience, and of course, rapport with your volunteers. The second one is confidence. Being confident. Even if you're not confident. When I did that first show, I'd never hypnotized anybody in my life. Was I confident? Absolutely not. Inside, yeah. my stomach is just turning but I appeared confident. I appeared like I had done this a thousand times before. And that's very important because you don't want your audience to see you stumbling over your words. You don't want them to see you uh, appearing nervous because that's going to break rapport and you're going to be in for a very awkward period. Um, but the third one is creativity. This is don't just do a hypnosis show that everybody else out there is doing. You know, if you look on YouTube, and I'm not saying everybody, but if, if you look at YouTube, you'll see a lot of the same things happening. So it's important if you really want to be out there and work, if you really want to get agents that want to work with you, uh, your show needs to be unique. And your show mm -hmm. needs to be fascinating. And you know who understands all this is agents. And you want to be best friends with agents. Agents will see, oh, no, this is just another show. He's doing all the same stuff every year. She's doing all the same stuff everybody else is. So... You want to be able to stand out and that's where creativity is going to come from and building routines that are your own building routines that are completely unique yet entertaining at the same time, making hypnosis sound so fun, so exciting. This is what is going to get you a lot of volunteers on the stage. One of the things I always say at the end of my lecture and I always hear moaning in the audience, like, whoa, whoa, I say, although you'll only be up here for about an hour, you're going to have the benefit of eight hours sleep. And I hear my eyes, whoa, whoa, because they really want that benefit of eight hours sleep. Everybody's tired, right? So I say, I don't pick people one at a time. Whoever wants to come up, come on up slowly and carefully. And uh, I get I, I get tons of volunteers. I don't know if you've seen any of my videos or any of my mm. photos. Yeah, 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 I've got tons of volunteers. Could somebody be hypnotized through a through sign language, right? I said, I'm up for the test, right? And so I said, okay. I said, do we know if they're going to be volunteering? She said, well, I know some that said they do look forward to volunteering for the shows. I said, okay, let's roll. This will be interesting for me. And it's, and it's fun because I know I'm playing this show again uh, in January. And so I'm... I'm giving the instructions for the show. How I've got the volunteers up there. I don't know which ones are hearing impaired. And so I said, instructions. I understand that there's some hearing impaired people on the stage. If you're hearing impaired, when I tell you to either focus on my hand or when I tell you to close your eyes, only focus on the signer. Only focus on the signer. And so... Once I was saying, focus on my hand, now I can tell which ones are hearing impaired because they're looking over here, right? Yeah. And so uh, I'm getting into the induction and I said, when you get relaxed, just keep your eyes open and focus on the signer. So I'm telling people, that's right. Allow yourself to go even deeper. Find a far more comfortable position on the floor now. The people who could hear me were just going on the floor normally, but those that were uh, hearing impaired, they're watching the signer just going like this. <laughs> and they're keeping their eyes open the whole time. Not only eyes open, but fixation on the Oh, signer. it was incredible. <laughs> it was incredible. So later oh on, uh, everything happened the exact same way that it would happen for those that were hearing me. So, I mean, lesson learned for me that night. Uh, I'm like, wow, you can hypnotize somebody through sign language. It was, it, it was quite incredible. Yeah. Yeah. That is amazing. That is fantastic. That is, yeah. you know, that is a story to tell for sure.
Wasn't that absolutely fantastic? I'm sure that you found a lot of information in this very short video, just so maybe like four or five, six minutes, however long it was. But that is not all. You can have access to the entire presentation of this amazing speaker, plus 40 more other presentations and speakers. And you can have access for life. You can have access to the video recording, to the audio recording, to the swipe files, to the transcripts, to all of the bonuses and special gifts that all of the speakers and presenters and also the organizers are offering in the premium pass package. So if you like this, if you want more, make sure to sign up below for the premium pass and have lifetime access to everything. I'm sure it'll be one of the best investments you've ever made in your life, in yourself, in your practice, in your health, and also with working with clients. So go ahead, click on the button below, sign up for the premium pass, and we'll see you on the other side.